Hello, I'm uh, Perry Bednors. I'm the helicopter helibase manager here. Um, we utilize the helicopter as a tool to manage the myconia. Um, we found that it is an excellent tool because there's a lot of areas with the myconia that you can't get to. You can't hike to them. Uh, you just can't get to them at all. So we had utilize the helicopter. And working with the government, um, you need someone on site that's going to make sure that, uh, we, first of all, we've got the helicopters are safe. We, we uh, inspect the helicopters. And then we make sure that everybody that works around the helicopters is trained to do that in a safe manner. So really what I do is just make sure that everybody um, is doing their job uh, safely and effectively. Got it. So you're the coordinator of the operation, or the conductor. Exactly. Yeah. So, Sean, this is your uh, the tough book. Uh, that's a touch screen and you use this in the helicopter you have uh, uh, navigators that will pinpoint locations where the pilots are making herbicide applications is that correct that is correct yeah. so Sean I'm looking at this software program here and I notice there's a map layout of some sort what are we looking at here uh, the image is uh, representative of the East Maui watershed it's um, broken into management units um, these units allow us to plan our aerial operations. So we're here in Hana. I'm with Floyd and Chad from the MISC crew and you guys are basically the ground operations for making sure that the uh, helicopters stay loaded with our herbicides uh, in our myconia treatments. Yeah. And so what are we looking at here? Uh, right here we get our rigs. Uh, this is on rig that we hook up to the belly of the chopper with our two 18 gallon tanks. Uh, we normally spray like 30 gallons out of it though. Yeah. And like this is connected to the chopper for power, power supply. Yep. And right here we hook it up to the underneath the belly hook with this being on the fuselage, you know. Got it. So you cinch it uh, tight to the undercarriage yeah, so of the rock, bird. Rock back and forth. Yeah. Understood. Yeah. So what we got here is our line, our hose that's connected to the bottom of the spray rig with three components. Uh, we got a steel cable to hold up the, the weight of the ball at the end. We got our high pressure hose so the herbicide can flow down to there. And we got a power cord that's hooked up. So we got power source to the uh, solenoid in the ball. And all of this equipment can be jettisoned if the pilot needs to in the case of an emergency. You know. Now right here we have three nozzles underneath that uh, when the pilot hits the switch he sprays the application onto the plant and the three nozzles give it a good you know spray on the plant. So this is a single nozzle spray ball that they'll also use. Again you'll notice the quarter inch steel casing to protect the spray um, system inside. Uh, consisting again of the connection to the hose that feeds the uh, herbicide through the system. Uh, solenoid with the connection to the electrical line that is operated by the pilot with a toggle switch in the cockpit. And again as a single nozzle tip, again it's also a uh, solid cone spray. So again both uh, systems working effectively in applying herbicides to their weed targets.